Okay, let's start. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before we begin our show this evening, let us begin with a prayer. Let us now put ourselves in the holy presence of God. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiriti Santi. Amen. Prayer for the protection of hands in inclusion Philippines. God our Father, we implore you to ask for the enlightenment and rescue and repentant success of the organization Hands in Inclusion Philippines. We ask for the repentance of the group from the false judgments of other people, including its former members. Rescue us from false sense of power and deliver us from the lesson of revenge that comes from the devil. Keep us in putting God first. Whatever is the religion of their core team, including the founder, while being inclusive to all those who are in need of inclusion, especially persons with disabilities, LGBTQI+, people confused with their gender, ethnic groups, and poorest of the poor whom you also love. Help us to stop ourselves from manipulation of other people and resorting to unjust grudge conspiracy and violence, which might affect the people you're trying to serve. We beg for its founder and his core team to be enlightened to see the lies behind the false doctrines and impure and violent motives of the false accusations we make and believe and open the eyes to the truth of the pride that he holds. Help us humble ourselves, O Lord, Help us to realize that fear, envy, anger, and unforgiveness comes from Satan. And may he stop whatever pride that he is holding. Please allow us to know ourselves a child of God. We also pray for those people who are blamed by hands and inclusion Philippines to repent from the sins they are guilty of without resorting or believing in any false accusations made by either them or any enemy they encounter. Forgive us from our accusations in any form and from all the wrong things. In your eyes, the organization did. This we ask in your name. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sea, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saint Claire of Montefalco, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Our Lady, help of all Christians, intercede for us. Saint Monica, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Augustine, pray for us and our family and friends. Saint Michael the Archangel, Saint Benedict, Pope Saint Pius X, and Pope Saint John Paul II, rescue us from our unintended wrongdoings. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy and change the heart of everyone. All organizing all organizations and all the people who formally work with the organization who made terrible mistakes, and those the people took part in the conspiracy to falsely accuse anyone and hands in inclusion. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us from our trespasses. As we forgive those who who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the Patris, et Fili, et Spiriti Santi. Amen.
The, the worst we think that the bonding to do COVID-19, this is... Ang mga pananaw at opinyon ng pag-uulat ng mag-uulat sa programang ito ay hindi ang pangunahing posisyon o pahayag ng pamunuan ng organisasyong ito. The views and opinions expressed in this live report are those of the presenter and do not necessarily reflect the official policy or position of the management of this organization. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Thursday edition of the Inclusive Report. Today is Thursday, June 3, 2021. I'm your host, Carlos Miguel Kanahashi, and we are broadcasting simultaneously on Inclurajo, Enhanced and Inclusion Philippines YouTube channel. To start off our show this evening, here now is our daily verse for today. From Colossians chapter 3, verse 2. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. We will begin our topic proper in just a moment, and we will be back after these commercials. Now this. Thank you. 
Okay, welcome back to the Inclusive Report. This evening, we will discuss to you about empathy. So what is empathy? Empathy is the ability to emotionally understand what other people feel, see things from their point of view, and imagine yourself in their place. Essentially, it is putting yourself in someone else's position and feeling what they must be feeling. When you see another person suffering, you might be able to instantly envision yourself in the other person's place and feel sympathy for what they are going through. So, how does the word empathy start in? The origin of the word empathy is from a German word, Einfühlung, meaning feeling into. It was first introduced in 1909 by a psychologist named Edward B. Titchener as a translation of the German word Einfühlung. Several different theories have been proposed to explain empathy. The essence of empathy is this. While people are generally pretty well attuned to their own feelings and emotions, getting into someone else's head can be a bit more difficult. The ability to feel empathy allows people to walk a mile in another's shoes, so to speak. It permits people to understand the emotions that others are feeling. For many, seeing another person in pain and responding with indifference or even outright hostility seems utterly incomprehensible but the fact that some people do respond in such a way clearly demonstrates that empathy is not necessarily a universal response to the suffering of others what are the signs of empathy well the signs of empathy are the following you are good at really listening to what others have to say people often tell you about their problems you are good at picking up on how other people are feeling you often think about how other people feel. Other people come to you for advice. You often feel overwhelmed by tragic events. You try to help others who are suffering. You are good at telling when people aren't being honest. You sometimes feel drained or overwhelmed in social situations. You care deeply about other people. You find it difficult to see boundaries in your relationships with other people. Having a great deal of empathy makes you concerned for the well-being and happiness of others. It also means, however, that you can get that you can sometimes get overwhelmed burnt out, or even overstimulated from always thinking about other people's emotions. What are the types of empathy? Affective empathy involves the ability to understand another person's emotions and respond appropriately. Such emotional understanding may lead to someone feeling concerned for another person's well-being, or it may lead to feelings of personal distress. Somatic empathy involves having a sort of physical reaction in response to what someone else is experiencing. People sometimes physically experience what another person is feeling. When you see someone else feeling embarrassed, for example, you might start to blush or have an upset stomach. Cognitive empathy involves being able to understand another person's mental state and what they are, what they might be thinking in response to the situation. This is related to what psychologists refer to as theory of mind or thinking about what other people are thinking. The uses of empathy are Empathy allows people to build social connections with others by understanding what people are thinking and feeling. People are able to respond appropriately in social situations. Research has shown that having social connections is important for both physical and psychological well-being. Empathizing with others helps you to learn to, rec 
regulate their own emotions. Emotional regulation is important in that it allows you to manage what you are feeling, even in times of great stress without becoming overwhelmed. Empathy promotes helping behaviors. Not only you are more likely to engage in helpful behaviors when you feel empathy for other people, but other people are also more likely to help you when they experience empathy. So according to Dr. Teresa Weisman, the four elements of empathy are perspective thinking. When we say perspective thinking, it is done by seeing the world through your eyes. When we say withholding judgment, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate them as human beings. Recognizing other people's emotions is to understand their feelings. Communicating understanding is show or tell them that you understand. So according to Mark Antikenio on the webinar, Sensitivity and Empathy, last May 21, 2021, I, I attended that webinar. He said, we may know how someone feels, but I know that you know this. It feels so good to judge people. I mean, it's a guilty pleasure for everyone. And yes, it's normal. But no, I don't think it's right. What essentially makes it easier for at least me to withhold, to withhold judgment is developing emotional empathy. Emotional empathy is like catching a ball. But the ball is someone else's emotions. You feel how others feel. Simply put, empathy demands communication. You cannot empathize without expressing your empathy with the other person. If empathy is sharing the emotion, we cannot share without telling the other person, hey, let's share. Thinking and not telling is key. No communication, no empathy. So what are the tips for empathy? Fortunately, empathy is a skill that you can learn and strengthen. If you would like to build your empathy skills, there are a few things that you can do. Work on, on listening to people without interrupting. Pay attention to body language and other types of nonverbal communication. Try to understand people even when you don't agree with them. Ask people questions to learn more about them and their lives and imagine yourself in another person's shoes. In summary, the classic definition of empathy is when we put ourselves in the shoes of others. In Filipino, it is pakikiramay. While empathy might fail sometimes, most people are able to empathize with others in a variety of situations. This ability to see things from another person's perspective and sympathize with another's emotions plays an important role in our social lives. Empathy allows us to understand others and quite often compels us to take action to relieve another person's suffering. Okay, so so what I've learned from Sir Mark Antikenio in the webinar of, of Sympathy and Empathy in the Center for Inclusive Education of Benilde in Manila is that Empathy is when we put ourselves in the shoes of others. So why is empathy important? Well, empathy is important because it helps us to understand how others are feeling so we can respond appropriately to the situation. It is typically associated with social behavior and there is lots of research showing that greater empathy leads to more helping behavior. When you're able to experience empathy, you're more likely to build and fortify social connections. 
It also encourages you to regulate your own emotions and it promotes helping behaviors. Those aren't just amazing traits as a person. They're also ones that will make you a better leader. So, empathy is the ability to understand and to share the feelings of another. It is the capacity to understand or feel what another person is experiencing from within their time or their frame of reference. Empathy is to be aware or being sensitive to and to vicariously experiencing the feelings thoughts and experience of another of either the past or present without having the feelings, thoughts, and experience fully communicated in an objectively explicit manner. Developing empathy is crucial for establishing relationships and behaving compassionately. It involves experiencing another person's point of view rather than just own. It enables pro-social or helping behaviors that come from within rather than forced. How to become more empath empathetic? First, talk to new people. Second, try out something else's life. Join forces for a shared cause. Be honest. Check your privilege. And of course, stand up for others. So, to wrap our topic up, the term empath comes from empathy, which is the ability to understand the experiences and feelings of others outside of your own perspective. You actually sense and feel emotions as if they're part of your own experience. In other words, someone else's pain and happiness became your pain and, of course, your happiness as well. Okay. Okay, let us now move on to the announcements part of the show. Okay. For our announcements, first of all, we have our products for sale. At the hands in inclusion online shop. First, is the Bagong Papang Sawan Inclusion Nation t shirts. The colors are range from white, yellow, red, black, and blue. So, the sizes and the price for each size. Extra small is 400 pesos. Small is 410. Medium, 420. 
large 430 pesos xl 440 pesos double xl 450 pesos triple xl 460 pesos and quad no quad xl 470 pesos so in addition to this but wait there's more we have the Hansen inclusion tote bags the small size is 220 pesos medium is 240 pesos large is 260 pesos and if you want a text in the back you need to pay an additional 50 peso charge also the we include rs 250 pesos and the in the ev ko ang mga pinay pwds is 150 pesos these are the only stickers of hands and inclusion that are available at the online shop so first of all we will be very strict on payments payment first before purchase we're accepting our modes of payments through the following Gcash and or pay Maya on this number flash in your screen 0917-701-9684 Again, it's 0917-701-9684 In addition to Gcash and or pay Maya, we're happy to accept payments from Palawan Pawn Shop and Sabuana Lulier and it will message Hands in Inclusion Facebook page for the instructions so what are the, our delivery methods? It will deliver to you via our courier providers. For those areas un, under the NCR Plus, it will deliver to you via Tok Tok, Lala Move, GoGo Express, Grab, and Mr. Speedy Philippines. The rest of the country, it will deliver to you via LBC. Do you want to donate to Hanson Inclusion? Well, it'd be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands and Inclusion. Regardless, no matter what, it doesn't really matter if the amount is smaller or larger. You may do your part in donating to Hands and Inclusion. It will be appreciated for you guys to donate to Hands and Inclusion. You may do so by donating us via GCash or PayMaya on this number flash in your screen, 0917-701-9684. Again, that's 0917 Seven zero one nine six eight four. So, what are you waiting for? Get our our bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation T-shirts, tote bags, and the Hands and Inclusion stickers now. Please, please, and please help Hands and Inclusion Philippines for its fundraising project, and also to donate to Hands and Inclusion as well. For those who did, we'll be glad you did. And for those who did this, thank you for your continuous generosity and also for your support to Hands in Inclusion. Next, Hands in Inclusion is looking for the following. Volunteer researchers, captioners, and YouTube uploaders. If you're willing to work as a volunteer, if you have a laptop in our desktop and a strong and a reliable internet connection, if you're committed to work, if you have good attitude and character, and if you are a college graduate, send your resume at hansen.inclusion at gmail.com. Best Buddies Philippines will have some activities for the month of June. We have, uh, first of all, we have dedication on June 5 for the Best Buddies Philippines Saturday series. June 12, the Greens and Pots with Luis and Gabrielle. June 16, Wellness Wednesday. June 19, Chico's Coffee Coolers with Chico, Selena, Grace, and Ali. And June 26 is Comcraft with SM Cares. So, if you're interested to join, you may send a direct message and follow Best Buddies Philippines on Facebook and Instagram as well. Do you want to follow Hands in Inclusion on social media? Well, be appreciated. Well, it will be appreciated for you guys to donate to rather follow Hands in Inclusion on social media. You may follow us on Facebook, Hands in Inclusion page, Instagram, Hands in Inclusion page, Kumu HNI Philippines, and subscribe to our official YouTube channel, Hands in Inclusion Filipinas. In addition, you may want to follow Inclurajo, Inclusports, 
Inkle Neon, Inkle Gaming, and the online shop on Facebook, and the Inkle Gaming YouTube channel. So, for those who did this, thank you for your continuous support to Hands and Inclusion. For those who did this, thank you. Also, uh, actually, we have some very, very sad news. Okay. Dear One World School faculty, staff, parents, guardians, and friends, I hope you and your loved ones are doing well and staying healthy. The end of school year 2020 to 2021 and the closing of One World School evokes many strong and mixed emotions for me, and I am certain for many of you as well. Be that as it may, I would like to look back and bid the school farewell with a grateful and peaceful heart. Please allow me to take this time to thank all of you, the teachers, therapists, assistant teachers, parents, guardians, maintenance staff, security guards, caregivers, and family drivers for your invaluable contributions to One World School, especially in the lives of all their students. Whether your time with the school was for one year or up to eight, I'm confident that it was spent with people who truly cared for everyone's children and for each other. During the past eight years, together we have created and nurtured a strong and loving community for our students, which is one of the main, main reasons they so love One World School. Thank you to the teachers, the therapists, the assistant teachers who gave their passion absolute best effort and work purposely fully with all the students to make sure they learn and made friends in safe and welcoming classrooms. Thank you to all the parents, guardians, and families who never gave up on their children and advocated so strongly for their rightful education and well-being. Thank you to the, all the, main, to the maintenance staff, security guards, caregivers, and family drivers who treated and care for all their students like their own family. Lastly, thank you for believing in the school's vision and mission with me. Through our collective advocacy for the children, the mistakes, failures, and triumphant successes. I have learned so much from all of you, and I am humbled to have been a part of your lives. On May 26, 27, and 28, One World School has its final year-end celebrations and graduation ceremonies. Thank you to all who joined to recognize and honor all the students' and teachers' achievements this past year. No matter where you plan to be after the school year, I pray and wish that you will be safe and healthy and that the One World School spirit of hope will always be in your hearts. Yours truly, Erickson J. Perez, founder and headmaster of One World School. Thank you. On behalf of Hanson Inclusion Philippines, we would like to thank One World School for the education that you have given to the students for the past eight years. One World School, Thank you, and to all the faculty, the, the administrative staff, and the people of One World School, may we wish all of you guys the best of luck in your future endeavors. One World School, maraming salamat po sa inyong mga tulong sa nagbibigay ng servisyo sa mga estudyante sa loob ng ikawalong taon. Maraming salamat po sa maraming taon na, na ang One World School ay nagbibigay na kasiyahan at serbisya sa kanilang mga estudyante. Maraming salamat po sa maraming taon na na kanilang pinagsamahan. Paalam, One World School. Hanggang sa muli, One World School. Okay, it's up to have the time for our shout-outs and greetings. First, for our birthday, uh, birthday celebrants, we would like to greet Sasha Santo Tomas. Happy birthday! And expect the more birthdays to come. Also, I would like to say good evening and thank you to the following. To 
my family, good evening. Hi to my fellow Hands and Inclusion members, especially to Roylan Marlang, Dillicent Makuse, Christian Chan, Archie Gunanan, TJ Parmarejo, Val Barria Mitchell, Angelo Ancheta, Asher Santos, Frenzo Sebrian, Gina Ignacio, uh, Jennifer Agustin, J John Red Mendoza, Lady Jean Eliasar Florese, Marian Manrique, Mark Doctama, Mary Jean Javier, Myra Del Pinado, Rita Aquino, Roy Galfo, Romualdo San Pascual, Ronald Mandlan Pau, Samantha Season, Tara Francisco, Veronica Kalalang, Kuya Yo, and some of the Angat Embers in Hansen Inclusion, Mam Gloria, Sir Henry, and, um, and others for Hansen Inclusion. Good evening, Pa, and thank you. Also to Angat, PWB United, to Mam Carmen, Sir Archie, Sir Romualdo, Mam Gloria, Mam Chiki. Uh, and the uh, Sir Hendrik and the others po sa Angat PWD United. Good evening po and thank you to uh, Best Buddies Philippines, to Michelle Aventajado, Nino Aventajado, Gia Aventajado, Pia Guanyo Mago, Kyle Ebora, Alan Angelo Nang, Ali Rojas, Angela Bataliones, Jessica Malka, Larry Aguirre, Regina Feliciano, Grace Lowenin, Vico Cham, Nico Velasco, and the others in Ian Borleo, and the others in Best Buddies Philippines. Good evening, Po, and thank you to Best Buddies Benio, to Sir Martin Romero. Uh, Bobby Anonas, Jimmy Javier, Joella Laurito, Clarissa Gonzalez, Genevieve Gutierrez, Sabrina Buenafe, Patricia Toralba, Baya Aguila, Nina Calderon, Bianca Montemayor, Brian Papustan, Mary Rose Ake, Tamara Pacursa, Kiran Fanega, Bianca Pura, Ashley Valenton, Chelsea Batron, and the others po, good evening po. Also to Autism Society Philippines, Autism Strong Philippines, Project Inclusion Network, Association for Adults with Autism Philippines, Down Syndrome Association of the Philippines, Special Olympics Philippines, A Child's Dream Foundation, Psychological Society of Assumption, Ateneo Speed, Guild of Thomasian Speducators, and other PWD organizations. Good evening, Paul, and thank you. And also, to those who are watching, it may be a good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world. Sana nasa mabuti kalagayin ninyo. If not, you may use this time to improve on your mental health and your well-being as well. This year, 2021, Hands in Inclusion is celebrating its fourth year anniversary with the theme, Bagong Tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. Hands in Inclusion is a community of volunteers that promote proper inclusion of persons with disabilities in the Philippines. We share their stories to help PWDs accepted in society as individuals and help them live as equals, if not a functioning part of the community. The goal is to be able to reach out to the proper channels of the private and public sectors to give aid and support to those who deserve this help. Anthony Inclusion was founded on March 8, 2017 by our founder, Roylan Marlang, a self-advocate with autism from Pasay City. This initiative was started as Inclusion in Action. Over the past four years, Despite all the achievements that we have done for the past four years of Anthony Inclusion, 
the achievements that we have done are the Inclusion Ako campaign, the online shop, interconnected multimedia class and social media, webinars, testimonials, and live reports, bazaars, and more. The event that we will never forget is this. Nakaranas kami ng pansamantalang pagsasara noong June 6, 2020. Hindi kami nawala ng pag-asa at biyaya. Our guiding statements are, we as a social awareness group encourage ordinary people to be informed of the inclusion of the major sectors of our society and its benefits by means of social media and other possible effective means. We see that because of inclusion, major sectors of our society will be embraced and supported, starting from our network and towards the rest of the country and eventually the world. Their inclusion will unify both our beneficiaries and the majority of society. But as in inclusion, we continue to put God first, truth first, people first, to promote our culture, a pro neutrality rule, and to show discipline. So, the best gift for us in this fourth anniversary of Hands in Inclusion is this. I would like to appeal to the members of Hands in Inclusion Philippines to observe proper decorum so that we will not have any problems. Let us continue to have a good example. We should learn how to be professional. Show good attitude and your discipline is your utmost importance to us. Your cooperation and your attention is highly appreciated. We also have to be considerate, to understand each other, and to be self-controlled. Act like a neutral person. Do not be complacent. Know your roles, your responsibilities, and your obligations in the organization. The reason why we're doing this is this is for us, doing its best, for being peaceful and systematic in our organization, and to manage this for long. Ang pinakamahalagang regalo para sa ikaapat na anibersaryo ng Hazen Inclusion ay ito. Uwapela ko po sa lahat ng mga miyembro ng Hazen Inclusion na dapat kailangan sumunod tayo sa mga kailangan natin sumunod. Maging isang mabuting halimbawa tayo. Kailangan tayo mag magkaroon ng magandang asal at magandang pag-uugali. Dapat maging professional tayo ang disiplina ang kinakailangan. Ang ating kooperasyon at atensyon ang kinakailangan. Dapat maging konsidera tayo, dapat magpangunawa tayo sa isa't isa at higit sa lahat ang pagkontrolado ng ating pagsarili sa ating sarili. Dapat maging neutral tayo, huwag maging kampante. Pwede? Ba? Ha? At alamin ninyo ang inyong mga responsibilidad, obligasyon, at inyong tungkulin sa organisasyon. Bakit natin ginagawa ito? Ginagawa ito para magiging mapayapa at maayos ang organisasyon na ito ng matagal. Apart from your patience and understanding, we need your help and prayers for the anticipated return of Hands in Inclusion Philippines in the future as a formal organization and expect a brand new start. Bukod po sa ating pasensya at pangunawa, iniring namin ang iyong tulong at panalangin sa namang reunion ninyo na sana ibalik ang Hands in Inclusion sa panginaharap at iniling ninyo ito sa Panginoon. At sana magkaroon tayo ng bago simula. Ngayong ikaapat na anibersaryo, May bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H&I, God first. Okay, and that wraps up our episode for the Inclusive Report for Thursday, June 3, 2021. I will be back again this coming Saturday and Sunday for the One Inclusion Live Weekend, Editorial Sunday, and Magpayo Tayo Pa Inclusion. On behalf of Inclurajo and Anson Inclusion Philippines, I'm your host, Karsfeyo Kanahashi. Thank you, good night, and may the Almighty God bless us all. Pagpalain na watayo ng poong may kapal. We include our yes. 
We at Anson Inclusion include us and include each other. And we include together for one inclusion forever. Ngayong ikapat na anibersaryo, may bagong tapang sa One Inclusion Nation. H and I, God first. Thank you. Good night. Bye for now and thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. At maraming salamat po sa inyong panonood at paalam na po. Bye-bye!